Hi everyone. So with so many new note-taking and personal knowledge management apps being released of late, I thought I would take a look at a new one called logseek.com. So you might have heard of Rome Research, Org Mode, TiddlyWiki, Obsidian, amongst many, many others. And what Logseek does is it takes a lot of the features and the layout of Rome Research, and in my mind has improved them because it allows you to store your notes locally in an outliner fashion, as well as have automatic syncing with GitHub, so that you're sure never to be uh, to lose your notes should anything happen. So what I'll have a look at today is how to get it set up and go through some of the features which I find very useful and why I'm moving more and more of my notes to Logseek. So to get started, um, if you go to logseek.com, this will bring up a new page with today's date, an area for you to start writing your notes, and a bit of a description. It says this is the first time I go to logseek.com. It comes up with some intro and has a review of some of the features that can that can do. So to get it set up with GitHub, which I find such a good benefit, and I have heard that they are working with other cloud storage syncing feature uh, systems that your notes can be backed up on other systems. So the first thing to do is on the right hand side, log in with GitHub. So we'll click on that. As I'm already logged in with GitHub, all I need to do is authorize Logseek to have access. And once that's done, it should ask me for a personal access token. Now to get a personal access token from GitHub, there's a useful step-by-step -step guide here. But what I will do is I'll just go through on video so that you can see it. So on your GitHub account, if you go on the right hand side, click on your profile picture and then settings. From the settings, we need to go to developer settings and we want a personal access token. We want to generate a new personal access token just so that Logseek and GitHub can interact so that your notes can be stored safely. We'll call this one notes. You do need to allow a couple of scopes and we need to allow the repo and the admin org one. And that's it. So we'll generate token. Now be sure to take a note of whatever number appears and copy that. As, as it says here, you will not be able to see it again. So make sure you make a note of it. And then what we'll do is we'll go back to Logseek and we'll slot it in here and we'll submit. And what it will do is it will ask you to which repo you want to save your notes. So what we'll do is we will go back to GitHub. On the right hand side, on the icon, we'll click your repositories. We'll just create a quick new one and I will call this one notes as well. Uh, this is for my notes, just give it a bit of a description. I want to make it private as only I want to have a look at it. I don't need a readme and I shall just create a repository. And if I copy now the link of where I want my notes to be backed up and slot it in here, clone, this should, it sometimes does come up with an error. So So just on refresh, it's now come up. Um, I'm not sure why that error came up. I think it just may be a bit of a delay between GitHub uh, authorizing the, the access. So now what we have is the page and we don't have or today's date and we don't have the introduction, but what we do have is yesterday's notes. And if I keep scrolling down, it then comes up the day before and so on. So now that we're, we've got the access, um, we've got the notes, we've got the little green symbol that says all notes are syncing to GitHub. Let's uh, let's have a look at what it can do. So as it says here, click to start typing. So we can just do this new note and uh, in a typical outliner fashion. And let me just get rid of this. And then if we want to indent, And we can just keep going uh, and keep indenting <laughs> until our heart's content. So then if we wanted to have another knot, so in a similar way as Rome Research can do, so now I've got a new knot. And if I would just want to focus on this section and just uh, lose some of this fluff 
above, I can click on it and I can now focus on this knot and basically just carry on. So now I'm just focusing on this particular knot rather than having everything else. Uh, so it just allows for focus. And if I want to go back, so I've added in some more lines. And if I go back to today's date, it's now added these lines in. So you can see that it's it's copied it across. You can also collapse and expand uh, as you wish. So if you want to expand or collapse at the top level, or if you want to collapse at another level, you can do so as you wish. So another big feature of LogSeq is backlinking and transclusions. So what, what that means is that you can create various different links between pages and notes so that it's not in a hierarchical structure and your notes are siloed and lost forever. Um, this allows you to have links between different notes. And as you then review your notes, you can then follow the links in a bit of a Wikipedia style manner and just keep learning and learning of the notes that you've taken. So, for example, what we'll do in this case is we will do this is a uh, oh, we'll do today I did some fitness and but what I want is I want fitness so I've highlighted it and I will write a square bracket or left square bracket that will create oh, it searches for a pages but it creates a, a link if I click out of it so you can see now fitness is, has become a a link so I can click on fitness and then I can do uh, or my for example we'll do my goals are and this will create a page of fitness um, run eat healthy uh, jog and many others so now what, what it's done is basically it's created a fitness page so I can then go back to the 19th of August see it today I did some fitness it's a it's a linked note so I can click on it and that will bring me back what I can also do is if I shift click it will bring it up on the side so now if I want to do something else at the same time um, let's say I want to add another thing I can do that here and I can edit it as I go along so I don't need to then find the note, find my fitness thing, find what I, my goals are. I can just click, re, click on it and it brings it up. And if I want to get rid of that, it's just clicking on the burger button on the top. Another good thing is that you can bring in some embeds uh, and you can even embed some notes, uh, some bullet points. So for example, if you um, slash and you have embed block, and what I'll do is I shall embed a block called my goals are. So I'll embed that. It comes up with a link reference, but you just need to click out of it, click enter. And now you can see it's embedded the block. So in case you wanted to see, let's say you're reading a book or you're doing some notes and you want to have a block embed here so that you can then, you can easily refer to it. Um, I find this ideal. And the good thing is, um, you can edit it and what that will do is when I click out of it it's already edited the fitness page which I find very useful so it now saved me from having to go to the fitness page amend it and then having to write whatever I wanted to do so I find that very good another thing that's very cool is a to-do list for a now and later so what you can do is this to do. You don't need the heading, but I like to have it and then indent it. And if you do now, uh, I need to eat, for example, or later, I need to sleep. So it comes up as your to-do list. And as you don't click them or if you don't complete it, it will get carried forward to the next day, which again just allows you to keep track of the things that you need to do. Another thing is you've got many other, if you need today or tomorrow's date, you can, again, slash, uh, you can do yesterday, and that will bring up yesterday's date. So then I can go to yesterday if I click on it. I can go to yesterday, I can write um, whatever note, so I can do that for tomorrow. And then it just allows me to see the notes that I have on particular days. 
and here are the two do nots uh, which we which we set up so it's now this is the now section so i need to eat if i click this one to sleep it will bring it to sleep and if i click on done it does uh, it, it removes it from the now because i don't need to do it anymore as it's been done what there is also is the unlinked references and what i'll do is as i get more and more knots into the system i will do another video just to show you how the unlinked and linked references work so another couple of good features is so this was all done on on a note page so if for example i want to create a new page on let's say how to take notes i can click up in the search bar and it will come up new how to take notes because i don't have this page created so i'll click on that how to take notes uh, i want to read the book and take notes on it so then now that's taken uh, it's created how to take notes page and if i for example do a search on the fitness page it has the fit fitness page and then it even has today i did some fitness so it's looking up all the references of fitness and just to show you that it's working with the link and it's very fast so you can see the green button up here on the right hand side if i now go to github and i go to my notes repository you can see so it's created the fitness page and it's created the journal page so it's created all of the pages which i've had a look at and created uh, so i can be sure to never lose my notes so for example these were the the fitness notes that i did it does come up in a markdown style format um, but at least you can be sure that at least your content is, is somewhere safe and secure so another thing you can do is on the right hand side you have the burger button so you can have a look at some recent pages. So these are the recent pages that we've that we've clicked on. You can have a look at the page graph. So just to see which pages are linking to this particular page. So for example, the August 19 page links to fitness and links to the August 18 page. And as you get more notes, this will make much more sense and it will show the graph in a bit more of a visual impact on it. Uh, this was done with the dark theme. You can quite easily change it to a white theme. So that changes it all at the click of a button. And then there's also help, which allows you to see various different commands that you can do um, and what can be done with, uh, with LogSeq. And if you want to have a look at all of your pages for, or all of your files, for example, you can go to all files and you can see these are the files that I've created. So each note is saved in a journal on a monthly basis. And then the pages that I create are created uh, as a separate contents. And what we can also do is if we click on this one and go to all pages, you can see it's created the contents page, it's created how to take notes page, it's created the fitness page and it's created the August 18. It does have, because it's done on a journal on a monthly basis, it creates automatically the pages of that particular month but if there's nothing in them so you don't need to worry about them um, so you can just click on august 18th august 19th and it will bring you back to your notes so that's all i had for today i um, hope you find that useful and i'm going to be uploading some more videos uh, bringing in some more content just so that i can show you what the graph how it can evolve and with some more linking and transclusions between the various different notes just to show you the benefit of how backlinking works and what I found very useful. So as I say previously, I was taking notes in one note, um, they would be siloed in various different hierarchical folders. I would lose where they are because for example, eating can be under eating, it can be under fitness, it can be under exercise. You would not know where to put it um, and you just wouldn't find it or personally I wouldn't find it. So what I found with LogSeq is that it's all here. I can add links. So for example, on my fitness page, I can add an eating page, I can add a sleeping page. They're all linked together. So at least I'll be sure that I'll always, I will always be able to find what I'm after. So thanks very much for watching.